Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of On the Avenue. I'm Amber, I've been your host all season, and I've had the privilege to speak to so many special guests, and today is no different. I'm here with the director of the children's ministry here at Wheeler Avenue, Miss Kim Washington. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Is this your first time on the Avenue? Um, with you as the yes. host? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's get into it. So you've been here for seven years, is that correct? Um, it will be seven in July. In July. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your Wheeler journey of how you became to be the director of the children's ministry. Well, um, my family and I came back and joined Wheeler back in about 2008. And we immediately rejoined Wheeler Avenue. And so my children were in the children's ministry okay. here. And so just like my parents, I, I always believed where my children are, I am. And mm -hmm. so I taught in the children's ministry um, with Harlesha Homer, who was leading children's church at that time. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it was a time for change coming up and she was ready to leave. And Reverend Johnson asked me if I would like to come wow. and, um, take over the children's ministry. And at the time I was a fifth grade teacher of math and science and I love teaching. I mm. love children. I love their light bulb moments. And then I thought, what better opportunity than to get to teach children about the love of Christ? Yes. I mean, there's no better opportunity of that. You know, what a huge responsibility that is. And so I was like, yes, yes, I would love to do that. Oh, you were excited. Oh, That's absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. We love that. Were you always planning to work with kids? What did you want to be when you were growing up? Okay, so that's that's a, kind of a tricky question for me because there were several things I wanted to be when I was growing of up. Of course. But I do have specific memories about having a classroom in my bedroom mm -hmm. and all my stuffed animals <laughs> were my kids. Yeah. And I had like a, um, a board where I would write their names and I had a seating chart mm -hmm. and everything. And I remember doing that a lot as a, a kid. A seating chart and a everything. A seating chart, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so I, I prepared for that as a kid, I think, and both my parents were educators. Okay. Um, and so I don't think I really realized that was my calling until after I'd gotten a degree in chemistry mm -hmm. and I worked as a chemist for a year. Oh my goodness. And I realized this is not for me. The fact that you realized it after the fact you got after, the... <laughs> right, exactly. Because that's not an easy subject true. to get it, a degree in. Chemistry's no, not. no, but I enjoy math okay. and, and I enjoyed the science and I could do it. Yeah. Um, and so it just seemed natural. But then I realized I needed something more. Mm -hmm. And it, it's one thing to learn it and to use it in a cubicle and another thing to learn it and to give it to someone else. Mm -hmm. And so I think that piece of sharing that my a, knowledge that with other kids, <laughs> that was what I needed to do. That was good. That was mm -hmm. something that I will jot down because that was a really good quote. Oh, thank you. What do you love most about your role? I love the people. Mm -hmm. I love... Um, the responsibility mm. that I feel is God given. Mm. I don't think I've been in another situation where I felt God distinctly meant for me to be here. This is what I am yeah. called to do. Mm. And to be able to walk in that, um, finally, mm -hmm. you know, I think you think in your twenties, you're going to be doing what you're supposed right. to do. And then you think in your thirties, you're going to be doing what you're supposed mm -hmm. to do. And I found it in my forties and I just feel blessed to do that. Yeah. I love the kids. I love when they run up and they say, Miss Kim. And you know, they're excited to see me just as I'm excited to see them. Mm -hmm. I get to work with fabulous volunteers. They're great people who have a love and a heart for God and they want to share that with the kids. So That's I important. have zero complaints about what I get to do. And um, it just makes me happy. You're protective over it too. You can tell. I but, am. Because everything is always in pristine condition, <laughs> perfection. You love it. Like, yeah, I do love it. I That's do good. love it. I feel like it's a gift. Speaking of perfection, so we always see the kids come over during the 1130 service sometimes and they'll sing us a song. And then we also see their Christmas play and their Palm Sunday play. Could you tell me about the efforts that it takes to come to make a seamless production with all these kids that you do? Right. Well, it is definitely um, hard to do at times, um, but we have been blessed with, for example, with the Children's Cherub Choir, mm -hmm. Sister Latoya Maddox is phenomenal. Fabulous. And she does such a wonderful job with them and mm -hmm. the kids love her. Yeah. And so they just sound wonderful when they sing and they're excited to get to go and minister to be given that opportunity. Oh, wow. And we tell them what a great opportunity it is. Yeah. You know, we don't get to do this often. They want us to come sing for 
them. The kids are excited to do that. Wow. Um, so it takes a lot of volunteers mm -hmm. um, to pull it off. But first and foremost, it takes a lot of prayer. Yeah. And so we pray all the time. I pray all the time for the ministry and what the Lord would have us to do in it. Um, and then from there, we just follow his guidance mm -hmm. and get it done. The Palm Sunday play was an effort of love, but a lot of work. Um, my co-director, Miss Pat Kane, worked with me. We've worked for months on this mm -hmm. in planning this, and the kids worked for months mm -hmm. in planning it. And so to give them the opportunity to present and it be their own, this is all about children, and we had some youth in there as well. Okay. It's just great. It takes it takes a lot to do it, but it's so rewarding seeing the end product. Yeah. And um, the Lord always comes through. Even when you're like, oh no, this isn't going to go well. Yeah. It goes well because, yeah. you know, it's for his glory and yeah. not ours. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. What's cute? Are you a, a reverend? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. You're preaching. Okay. So let's speak a little bit because any summertime activities we can be looking forward to? Well, we are still developing what okay. that's going to look like okay. for the summer. But one thing in partnership with the music ministry and Minister Lewis, um, we've partnered with the Houston Grand Opera to bring Create an Opera to the campus. Mm -hmm. And so it will be here June 12th through 16th. Um, we have registration going on right now. You can register your child to come. Spots are limited. So we really want um, our Wheeler Avenue kids to, to join and uh, register if they can. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking forward to that. That's going to be a really unique experience experience. Mm -hmm. Other things I'll be working with um, Reverend Boone, our youth minister, uh, to bring some other things to campus. And we haven't solidified those yet. So I don't really want to just, you know. Of course. Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. So just stay tuned Absolutely. For our, to our website because I'm sure we're going to be posting all the activities that they're hosting during the summertime. So just stay tuned there. Indeed. Okay. So tell me about how many kids do you see each Sunday? Um, upwards of, I think we max, we've been maxing out about 350 um, on Sundays. And that's when we have like a full staff in order to accommodate. Um, my goal is to see, I know this is a lofty goal, but I feel like we can accommodate once we have enough of volunteers mm -hmm. um, and we have the kids in each room. We want to see at least 400 okay. on campus, um, 200 per service. Um, and so we're working on that. We're working on building up um, the number of volunteers we have so we can see even more children. How many volunteers do you have right now? So currently we have per service, mm -hmm. we average about 30 volunteers. Okay. Um, I need to add about 10 more okay. per service in order to accommodate the kids. If someone's interested in becoming a volunteer, how can they do that? Well, we have banners all across children's ministry. So you can go and just um, click on the QR code and fill out a form. It comes directly to me. And then I set up youth protection training and okay. you also have to complete a background check. Okay. Um, you do have to have been at the church for six months. Okay. So our new members, we are ready for you to come. Just give us six months of service here and then we'd love to welcome you into our ministry. Nice, okay. Well, so I would like to see more of what you do on Sundays and how the ministry is ran. Do you mind if we follow you on a Sunday service? That'd be great. Okay, so we are here on a Sunday morning for children's ministry. Miss Kim, we're kind of chasing her down right now because she's a busy lady on Sundays trying to handle our children and get everything situated for a Sunday service. So let's go follow her. She's down the hallway. I'm going to catch up to her. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Miss Kim, so we're here to follow you around. So wherever yes. you go, we're going today, okay? Okay, you ready to walk? <laughs> we're ready to walk. Okay. I, should have, I should have my Fitbit on so I can get my steps in. Hi, hi, Harold. How are you? Good. Good. You're fine. You're okay. Fine. So, like, all your stuff is um, laid out. Well, are y'all lesson six or lesson seven? Six. Six. It's right here in this stack on this corner, okay, right? Yeah. Here. I got it. There's, there's. Oh, you already have it. Okay, okay we're good. Um, Miss Tilly, I think is with you. Tilly. Yeah. Tinny. Tinny. That's it. Uh huh. Yeah. Where are we headed to right now? Um, the nursery okay. is going on? losing one of their staff members. Like they have to leave. Okay. Um, and so I need to close the nursery because they've reached capacity with this oh. number of adults that's going to be with the kids. Oh, okay. So here's our glorious nursery <laughs> and our wonderful nursery staff. So um, they always have a, a lot of fun, yeah. a lot of fun. So, so the whole children's ministry is from birth to fifth grade, like we talked about before. Okay. And uh, so that includes the nursery. So anytime, anytime anything goes down, if our nursery director, Miss Karen, is not here, then they run, you know, so yeah. I just cover both areas. But um, 
Karen Pennywell is the nursery director and has been for years and she's amazing and I love her. Nice. I couldn't do it without her. Nice. Yeah, so she just happens not to be here today. And what's yeah. the capacity? You said you had capacity um, for adults. Usually 30, oh, we usually okay. have 30 kids That's in. They're at 19 right now and they're about to lose an adult. Okay. So yeah, um, Makes we sense. wanna make sure that yeah. Makes sense. we always stay safe with the number of kids we have. In there. Awesome. Okay. What are the requirements if someone wants to volunteer in, in the nursery? Um, so for nursery all the way through fifth grade, actually all the way through high school, we do a youth protection training um, and a background check. Okay. So they cannot volunteer until they passed both of those things. And it is a annually renewed. So every year they have, have to, do, to do another background check. Awesome. So. Our kids are safe, guys. Our they kids are, are safe. They are. <laughs> They're in great hands. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I got to jump on the computer to awesome. um, do this real quick. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you weren't going back to get them, though, huh? <laughs> you weren't going back to get her? You're done. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> a week too late for him. He got to come in for us. Oh, really? Yeah. Were we full? Yeah. He's, it, it, he's a little easier than Bria. I understand. Well, <laughs> but he's pre K, right? Yes, yeah. Um. So next month. We are opening a second classroom for uh -huh. pre-K, so hopefully he shouldn't get turned away again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And of course, if you want to volunteer, we're always looking for volunteers. Once a month, once a month. And it doesn't have to be his age group. You can volunteer oh, yeah. in an older age group. You're, you're <laughs> featured on the avenue. <laughs> To grab him while you get them down there. Oh, All right, come on, buddy. He's a slobber, so get your tissue. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. You guys tell Connor it's gonna be okay. Now I've followed her around before, not on camera, and this is exactly how it flows. Like she's handling business, taking care of kids that are upset. And it's just a beautiful thing to see. So I hope y'all are loving what you're seeing as well. Carmen's down there. And I think Miss Kendra's coming too. Okay. Look at the big kids. Nobody's crying. Look at the big kids. Kula is the one who normally takes Connor. So, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, she gets him to calm down. Right? Well, they only had two. There were only two teachers, so. Can I just say, they are doing a fabulous job with staying <laughs> okay. in line, All right. remaining All right. silent. So, like, do you this think is you good. need to take like, over? If I was walking past and I didn't see them, I wouldn't even trivia? hear them. I wouldn't know they were there. Y'all hear that? Y'all are doing a great job. Say thank you. You're welcome. So how do Sundays usually flow for you for the 1130 service? So for 11.30, the, all the children start off in here. Okay. They start with the praise and worship song and a prayer. Okay. And then we dismiss the smallest kids. So that would be the threes, the fours, and the fives. Okay. And then, um, other than this Sunday, we have a worship service in here um, for the elementary kids. Okay. So it's first through fifth grade. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. They just got started, so you're all good. Um, so we do a worship service okay. and they have their Bible lesson nice. normally. Yeah. And then, um, today is a little bit different because it's fifth Sunday. Yeah. So they're going to do their worship service and then they're going to practice their songs. Okay. And then we have, um, a visit from Prairie View a and health and wellness Houston program. Oh, okay. And they're going to teach, they've been teaching them every fifth Sunday how to eat right and maintain oh. their bodies. Um, both spiritually and physically. I love that. So they'll have that session today. Mm -hmm. um, so this time will be a little bit shorter than normal. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So they're, what are we walking into now? They're walking... Um, walking. We're walking into uh, probably the end of present worship okay. because it's shortened today. Okay. Um, You're doing all that clapping and all that moving to come in with that little note. Who is the choir director? No, no. What's her name? Um, Miss Toya no. Maddox. Okay. Yeah. In the praise, She's amazing with the kids. Amazing. In the praise, yeah. 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 In the same time. How long has she been here? Two oh. and six. In the praise, everybody come in with the right note. But this time I want it a little louder. Do 
do not scream because that's not what we do here. But project out as strong as you can. One, two, ready, go ahead. Let me pray next to our God. Much better. That was so much better. I love that. Thank you guys so much. All right. So where are we headed now? So this is our check-in area okay. right here. So our, all of our kids are greeted by our greeters, like Miss Jennifer, Miss LaBeau. Hi, Miss Jennifer. Deaconess Harris. Hi, Miss LaBeau. So um, they greet the parents and they help them get checked in on the iPads here. Okay. We still use KidCheck, okay. um, which is a label printing type program. And we also have it, we have the app on our phones. And so it works really well to follow how many kids and when we reach capacity, we can let parents know right here versus having them come all the yeah. way and try to sign in by themselves. We have two check-in stations, one here up front and then one in the back by the nursery because okay. they can also enter by the nursery. Nice. So, and then whenever parents are done with service, they come pick up the kids. What's that process like? Um, so pickup is here in our okay. children's church. Okay. So just like they drop them off in children's church, they pick them up in children's church. Okay. So um, how will you know who, which adult goes to who? So when the parents come, we use our app to look up their child. Okay. And it provides a secure number. Come on through, Hudson. Come on. Good morning. Um, it's, each child has a code that's specifically for them. Nice. The parent also has that code on their guardian receipt. Okay. And so we match the two of them before we dismiss them together. Nice. So no one can take a child. Very it's secure. Very yes. secure. All right. That door right there. Handling business. <laughs> we can be full within 30 minutes. Oh, wow. I believe it, actually. Yes, yes. That's not surprising at all. We really need extra volunteers so we can open up more classes. Yeah, yes. absolutely. So, well, thank you so much for watching On the Avenue today. This is our last episode. We're closing out the season, but I will see you next season for more exciting things. Follow us on all of our social media platforms at Wheeler Avenue BC, and I will see you next time on the Avenue. Bye.